Hello and welcome to Organic Edible Garden. July and August are a great time to get your new season's pip and stone fruit in the ground. It's important to get them in the ground now before the sap starts to flow and the buds burst. Usually I like to buy my fruit trees bare rooted, but this is a variety called Lucy, which is a cross between a Fortune and a Louisa, which are both great plums, but I can only buy it already put into a bag. However, it's this year's and I can still make it bare rooted. If you can lift the plum tree from the bag and the roots are still exposed, you know it's this season's. If it's really root bound, you're gonna know that it's previous seasons and just put it back. You can see with this, all the roots have already been cut back and it's ready to go on the ground. The next thing we're gonna do is dig our hole. And what we wanna do is we wanna make a hole about the size of the root ball. We don't want to make a huge hole because then it'll just either become a swimming pool or it'll rock back and forth. So we just work out the distance. For this tree, I want to dig my hole about 40 to 50 centimetres in diameter. Usually the soil is a bit mucky at this time of year and if you're in a wet patch we generally use a postal borer and we go down even further. Often when planting fruit trees there's a pan about two feet under the soil and if you can go down far enough and break that pan you'll get a lot more drainage. This year's been exceptional and the soil is really nice and dry still so I don't think there's any need for it. But as an added precaution whenever I plant a fruit tree I also put a few handfuls of gypsum in the hole. Not only does this help with the drainage in the future, but it also adds a good amount of calcium to the soil. Because my soil has got quite a bit of clay in it, I'm gonna add some compost to this hole. I wanna give the fruit tree the best chance it has to get going. I'm gonna be using some of my homemade compost for planting the fruit trees. It's really chunky and full of carbon, but this is what the fruit tree wants and gives it a good start. It may look like I've put too much compost into the hole like this, but it's not. What we want to do is we actually want to raise this up and actually put it into a mound. On that mound, we can plant the fruit tree with the roots going on either side. Also, by raising it up, we're bringing it out of the ground. Eventually it will go down further, but what we don't want to do is to go too far down that you actually have like a swimming pool hole around your fruit tree. This will cause the collar to rot and the fruit tree will die. It's important when planting the fruit tree that you position the strongest roots into the prevailing wind. This will anchor the tree down and give it that extra bit of protection. Next we're going to put some more soil around the roots and we can use some of the old soil because this still has quite good and friable and then we'll start pushing it down. It's important when planting in a fruit tree not to plant it any deeper than it was planted in the bag. You can see the water line where it was planted there and we want to bring the soil up to roughly that level. Remembering it will still go down. The most important thing is that there's no soil near a graft. You always want to use the top sod back into the hole again because there's a lot of nutrients in that top six inches. The next thing we want to do is put some stakes in. This will protect it from the strong winds. And what happens when it's put a new feeder roots out and it rocks heavily with the winds, they break. So we just want to protect it for that first year of its life. The prevailing wind comes from this direction, so we're going to put our stakes either side. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to prune the tree. But first, we're going to sterilize our secateurs by dipping them in a bit of meths. When pruning the fruit tree, it's important to cut it back by a third to a half. 
And for most people, they find it difficult when they buy a beautiful fruit tree like this and they're chopping it away. But it's so important to give that tree a better start in life. In this case, as long as it's above the graft area here, we can chop it back. In this case, I'm gonna chop the center leader out. And even these other leaders will be chopped back to the same level. And because we've made some wounds on the tree, it's always best to cover it with a good pruning paste. And finally, we're gonna tie up the tree. We use a nice soft twine so it doesn't rub Now this twine is only strong enough to last about one year, but when you're dwelling your fruit trees in, you don't want them tied up for more than a year. It makes them lazy trees. You want them to be able to get their roots down strong. The second tie, I pull quite tight. This just gives it a more protection from rocking back and forth. Now it's nice and secure, and even with a strong wind, it's not gonna move. And very finally, we're gonna give it a bit of fertilizer. It's really important we don't give it a high nitrogen-based fertilizer. This will cause lots of leaf growth at the expense of the roots. We're gonna put some of this magic rock dust around it. It's got full of minerals that will give the plant a good, good beginning. It will get its roots down strong for the summer.